lots of dumb ass fucking videos out here. So I figure I've got to make a video because there's just way too many dumb ass fucking videos. And hold insipid ham, I'm sorry, inspired I am, inspirimum. That's what they're saying her name is, inspiritum. Ins inspiritum? I don't think so. I think it's inspired I am. Or, you know, <laughs> she's got more than, you know, some rough life patchy stuff going on. She's got some cognitive you know, somethings. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. She's okay-ish. Eh. Um, <laughs> you know, she's going to do what she has to do, drink more apple juice or something, and hopefully she'll feel better and she'll be able to get back to her usual kind of cranky, nasty self. Um, but anyway, regardless, I'm, of course, to blame because I'm on the Internet saying things. You know, I have to say things in this world, especially things that are anti the, the fable, the bullshit, the nonsense. And none of these people can get it right. Even Piero, I mean, maybe his videos here, I don't know. But he, but he ends one of his stupid videos griping, you know, I don't know, I don't even know what it was. It wasn't even an anti-natalism video until the very end. And then he again goes back to the stupid shit like somehow anti-natalists are saying don't have a good time. And that's not what they're saying. They're saying don't have fucking kids, you retard. You can't, you're just never going to get this right, right? You keep thinking saying don't have kids is the same as saying... You know, stick a knife in your ear. They're not the same thing, or be miserable. I mean, billions of people get along just fine not having kids. You can't get that? That they have all this free time, they can do things, they can make little, I don't know, tinfoil things? Hmm? Yeah, sorry, that's all I had right there. Uh, I burned some cookies using that. Anyway... A little something. They can find something. Tiddly battery. They can get a bunch of little button batteries and tiddly wink with them. They can do all kinds of things because they don't have a responsibility to take care of a kid. So there's lots of um, ways to be happy not having kids. You don't have to commit suicide, but you can't have kids. It's just a ludicrous proposition. No, I'm sorry. Oh, just, well, anyway, I mean, this... Oh. So anyway, this idiot. Fight, fight club guy. Fight club. Kanucha 11. Um, <laughs> yeah, I forgot I'll do this fanatical thing. Fanatical. Um, anyway, so I got halfway through his video and I'm just like, oh man, what the fuck is he talking about? So he's got some kind of theory that if you're an atheist, you can't have any um, value or moral direction. I think that's what he's saying. That you just could be some sort of selfish, nihilist, crazy fuck who would eat babies' brains if you were hungry for one. Or something like that. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. So maybe the second half makes sense. I doubt it, though. <sighs> These people, what, are, what, are, what is wrong with you people? This isn't that fucking complicated. DNA molecule. Replication. Billions of years. No intrinsic purpose beyond creating survival machines. Now, what in that little paraphrase... Don't you understand? And what exactly in that paraphrase is the good news? You know, to put in your little pamphlet. Ah, oh, you got the good news. We're replicating molecules. I mean... Yeah. Um, if you want solid proof, as many atheists in their scientific, uh, deterministic, um, bent need for certainty, you can just look through history. Oh, I don't even know. What, what does that even mean? People aren't even looking for any of that. All right? They, they, but they have figured out it's it's not a round... I mean, it's not a flat earth. You know, the sun doesn't move, you know, like in the whole Bible thing. I mean, what are you defending here, exactly? What are you even... I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. The one guy who did it with thought. All right? There's plenty, there's plenty of men who've done it with mathematics that have gone crazy. That have taken... The well, well, you could give us examples or something. The logic, the rationality to the 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 thought, the calculation to the farthest place that thought, calculation, and logic can go, without. <laughs> like what? What is? What's the farthest place you can go? I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, that's, uh, I'm sorry, I was, I, you know, I have all kinds of jokes, but they're really dirty, so I'm not going to bother with them. Without realizing that they're, they're using logic, rationality, thought, etc. to analyze logic, rationality, thought, etc. 
All right. No, it's not all right. They're using rationality, thought, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. Huh? No, no, this isn't all right. It's impossible. But I think a lot of the atheists out there haven't realized that, and they're content in where they are. They're comfortable in where they are. They'll stop asking questions, and they'll deceive themselves because it's comfortable to feel like, you know, you know the truth, and you have the certainty. I don't think they're doing any of that. I think they're just being lazy Christians like everybody else. They all just sit there and gave up on thinking. That's right. They don't take any responsibility for being on planet Earth and take any responsibility for what is here. They just play their little part of the game. They just sit in their little corner of the game, and they do their little, I'm going to jump from this square to that square, and they don't pay any attention to the fucking where the whole, what the whole thing is doing. Not any attention whatsoever. That's right. They do that. Uh, but the Christians do that too. It's not a atheist, theist problem. The Christians are just as comfortable not asking any questions and just sitting down doing, saying, where's my, where's my apple pie? Um, Nietzsche was the, probably the last guy. Uh, yeah, to have his name known by everybody, even though he only sold 25 fucking books. To... To be, to be an intellectually honest atheist. In, in what respect was it intellectually honest to say stupid ass things like, uh, well, uh, things, uh, uh, yeah, that's all. He, he didn't say anything, right? He said things Adolf Hitler can understand. You fucking idiot. He didn't say things any rational person would understand, like, Oh, there's a hole in the dam. There's no point in doing anything because you can't stop anything. You can't change anything. What, what did he say? He didn't say anything that makes any fucking sense, you retard. And consequently, a nihilist. Uh, a, a complete idiot. Who, who Really, they can't figure out that they're still taking care of themselves, right? These nihilists. They're still worried about their own feelings, yet all they've done is say nobody else's feelings matter. How how does anything make any rational sense out of that? It is completely idiotic. The fucking idiot ought to be hung in effigy for being an idiot. Um, and take it take thought in philosophy as far as it could go without going insane. And he did well. He did. Go oh well, yeah, he did go insane. That's right. He was in fucking insane, and you're fucking quoting him like he's. You're not even quoting him. You're you're. You're para-characterizing him, all right? But the, the truth is, is that he didn't contribute shit. He's an idiot. Go insane. Um, so, to all you atheists out there, you know, the proof is there. There's, uh, you know, I think you're hiding behind a label and a name. I think you're really dumb. You're inarticulate. That's for goddamn sure. Um, anyone can respond, I don't care, comments are welcome, um, and, I, you know, I'm going to send this to, uh, TJ. I think TJ is a uh, pretty intellectual guy, I think he's a super <laughs> Yeah, right, like he's up there with Nietzsche. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's right up there. Yeah, he's figured out the thing that his, his stomach grumbles, and he's figured out that everybody else is an ant. Yeah, brilliant guy. Fuck, Fuck you. you. But, um... I think he stopped questioning um, himself a long time ago, and now he's a... Yeah, he's a jackass, that's right, yeah, he's a fucking thief and a crook, and a not give a dammer. Oh, brilliant. Oh, I know mean, your plaid furniture is lame and fucking gay. See himself, and he might be comfortable with it, that's cool, but... Just don't act like uh, you're an honest atheist. No, yeah, you should sure prove your argument there, fella. Prove the old, who the fuck knows what you're talking about. If you are an atheist and you are intellectually honest, you are a nihilist. Why? 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 We can't, we can't do this simple reasoning of figuring out that feelings are really, 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 really funky. All right? And that they're important. You know, that feeling really bad really sucks, and feeling really good is really cool. 
We can't figure that out, and we can't apply that simple little piece of information to the truth that there's seven billion human beings that feel, and there are billions and billions of other animals that feel on this stupid, shitty fucking rock, and they're all caught up in this storm of chaos and nonsense, and that we should maybe take a little responsibility for that, because we can do something about it. No, instead, you should just put your own fucking dirty, stinking, lousy, cruddy, putrid head up your own fucking ass and pretend you're something. You're accomplishing something because you can roll like a ball and knock down some bowling pins. Nihilism is a result of all the psychological realization that logic, rationally and rationality, and science in all of its forms are limited and consequentially no objective truth can be obtained. It's just such a nonsense. Oh, you're going to tell me the world is, is flat. You're going to tell me that. If I say it's absolutely not flat, you're going to say we don't know that. If I say I, this, this, this piece of plastic with this liquid in it went up in the air and now fell down, no, it didn't happen. Me right. Fuck you, you fucking retard. Your video didn't happen, that's for sure. It certainly didn't have any content in it worth any fucking goddamn intelligence ever listening to. You driveling lunatic. Where do these, where do these fucknuts come from? They're all gonna save us by making us, somehow convincing us that there's nothing. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, I'm, I'm caught up in something here, fella. There's something going on here, you idiot. Shit, wait. So here's the Puro video. I might as well play the end of this because it was just fucking stupid. So this is a major thing because I feel that some people wanted to maximize happiness. Other people feel, have realized that that game will never work. <sighs> but when I realized that, I went off to, oh, well, life must be something about something else. But some people are like, well, no, it can't be about anything else. It's either that or nothing. And I feel this is part of antinatalism. It's like, well, the pursuit of maximizing happiness is a, is a joke, and so there's nothing else to live for. In reality. Oh, gee, that is just so stupid. There's plenty for you to live for because you're an addict, so you can live. The point is, it's a stupid game that you don't impose on somebody else. Oh, fuck. There's a lot of other things to live for, and um, and this is a, a major part of our of, of my basic disagreement. Right, right, right. So if that isn't the ultimate straw man, your your basic disagreement is is that antinatalism says people should be be miserable and unhappy. That's just a fucking idiotic, moronic bullshit lie and you, you goddamn know it this is garbage nonsense why shouldn't this be offensive to everybody all this conversation and that's the best you can do in terms of your paraphrase of antinatalism it's disgustingly putrid effort fail 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 god damn i mean what this nothing to do with people this fucking stupid Ugh, jesus Right. Yeah, I got this new quantum thing. Some asshole's posting comments on my website. Well, they've proven. They've done. They've proven. You know, so you, some idiot put a link into one of my other things on this Heiselberg uncertainty thing. And even just the way this is written, just the, this is a scientific article. Well, silence daily. Of course, it's probably crap. Quantum uncertainty. Are you sure, Mister Heiselberg? I mean, it's just so patronizing. It's so easy to pick on dead people, too, you fucking cunts, you know. Um, and, and the whole, <laughs> you know, the irony of it is the whole thing doesn't, it doesn't prove a motherfucking thing. There's really nothing proven in here. And certainly Heisenberg's point that you can't measure both um, position and, and momentum is left completely intact. They're just saying that the reason why you can't measure them is because they're all wacky tabacky, some, some segment of the of the quanta is wacky anyway, and you can never measure it because it's wacky. That's their argument. And they don't prove it, though. This, this is just such bullshit. This bullshit all over the goddamn place. Oh, I'm so sick of these fucking fanatics and their fucking quantum god theories. It really is a religion. All right. Well, so we just find it'll the... Uh, uh, the other tub of shit. Oh, this was good. This one, I, I've forgotten about this video. Somehow it ended up on 
I don't know, it's a related video to somebody's video. Yeah, it did cheer me up. Oh, I do like that. Oh, the communist song. <sighs> yeah, it even helps. I know it's silly, but it helps. Where the hell are my... Where's my fucking fat guy? Be? Oh, here he is. Sincilius Maximus 323. So he's up to 323 pounds. I think he's underestimating. Uh, all right, so this is the in, in, inspired I am. She made a video saying I'm just really depressed. It's not Gary's fault, blah, 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 blah. Um, <laughs> but it doesn't matter to these tubs of crap. They're still going to blame me. And so you just got this tons of tons of tons of tons and tons and tons of tons of shit. Um, so I'll play some of this. It's just really, I should play some of it just because this fat tub of crap is just, oh. I mean, this is the tub of crap, right? Who, who, who had to close his old channel because he couldn't, he couldn't stand by the bullshit he was saying, right? He had to run away from his own rhetoric, and he's going to complain. I mean, just amazing, of assholes on the Internet. Reckless, sloppy, talk out of their fat assholes on the Internet, right? I haven't taken any of my videos down. Ladies and gentlemen, I am attempting to do my first uh, webcam recording as my other camera has essentially gone oh, put. Who cares? Jump ahead. Went to the video in the low bar. Uh, it will also be linked in the low bar of this video. Uh, it is of uh, Inspirium. Inspirium. I mean, you know, you yelled at Mel's basket case, but she said that's not her name. Inspirium? Is that really how this is pronounced? Inspirium? Beer I I don't know how you get Inspirium. There's a D in there. Yeah, no, this doesn't work for me. Sorry. I think it's Inspired I Am, and I don't think you know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, she is in the video very, very upset. Apparently, something has occurred. Right, and you know nothing about it, have no context, and you're just going to talk out about your, your, your big flabby ass again. You're just going to, you know, you're just a slandering, lying, reckless, sloppy pig. I mean, really, grow the fuck up. In which uh, Gary, who else, has <clears throat> uh, definitely caused her some, uh, Shelly says she's, he's definitely caused her some grief. Right, yeah, yeah. So, so if somebody, something happens to somebody where you say, you know, if you date that guy, he's going to kill you. Um, and then, you know, you're bleeding and you're bloody and you climb into the road and you say, Gary was right. Gary was right. All of a sudden, Gary's guilty of something because he predicted that life will kill you. I mean, please, please. Please, I didn't commit any crime here, asshole. What else is new? However, I am concerned enough from what I have seen that I do indeed fear for her well-being. Right, and this is the way you do it. You, you, this is, this is, you're always talking about all these other people should do something. This is, what, this is how you do something. You talk about somebody else's problems that you don't know anything about recklessly and sloppily on the internet. Rob the fucko. If anybody knows if she is alright, uh, please let me know. I do hope she is alright. Now to move on to the point that I intend to make here. Well, it's just circumstantial, I guess, that she is. I mean, apparently she really intended to fly off. And apparently, if she would have, I would have been some sort of horrible, awful, disgusting villain because I did talk to her. I didn't talk to her for two months. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, you know, this is just so fucking ludicrous. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. The 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 the, 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 the what you're going to, the extent you're going to, to demonize me. I'm the fucking plague. You know, I mean, this is so stupid. Why? Because, because I just point out that life is stupid. Oh, what a criminal. Label him a war criminal. He can't call life stupid. 
No fair. For a long time, Gary Amendum has acted like a child. He's a bully. <laughs> oh, and this isn't bullying, right? I'm going to call the cops. I'm going to get the fucking FBI. I'm going to get... Yeah, right. Fuck you. This isn't funny. No, this is fucking funny. It really is fucking funny. Hypocrisy is hilarious. He's a know-nothing. He's a psychopath and a cult leader. Well, I just don't know why you can't do a better job opponent him then. I mean, if all that shit were true, why the fuck can't you get the job done? I mean, it's pretty ludicrous that you can't take on a, a an idiot psychopath lunatic. Fucker. He proceeds with everything he does in a way that he completely disregards the well-being and feelings of other people. A lot, really. I just think this doesn't even make any sense. Why? Because I called you a, a blueberry pie? <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, you, know, you can't call him a blueberry pie. I mean, relative to what, idiot? I mean, and do you make these lectures across the entire internet? Is you know, do you have a whole book, a little book of all the characters you have to go lecture because they were too hard on somebody? Oh, you are just so fucking preposterous. Uh, this most recent incident is merely the culmination. Yeah, there was no incident, asshole. Okay? Her own fucking personal life fell on her. Okay? I didn't go anywhere near her. Idiot. Of many such incidences. Where Gary has essentially uh, driven people to the breaking point. <laughs> you're like, well, what, 20 years after I'm dead, you're going to be making these accusations. Oh, well, there's another Gary victim, right? It's going to be like like, like all the really great plagues. <clears throat> you know, you'll be blaming people years later. It was the for, 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 for sell the side. Yeah, no, it was Gary. It was Gary. It wasn't for foul the side that killed that kid. It was Gary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It broke their chromosomes. The Gary, the Gary hide. So I want to be clear in something here, and people need to heed what I'm about to say. Okay, you will heed. Everybody heeding? Are you all in the heeding position? Do you have your butts upright? Do you have your butts in the upright position? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going to fill your colon full of shit. Gary Amendum is nothing but a useless psychopath. He contributes nothing of value. Well, you say so. <laughs> yeah, what's what? I didn't. I haven't done anything for you personally, right? I have a magic touch, you know. I can fix things. Like I just walk up to it and I go, "Don't be broken." And it's not broken anymore. It's magic. But I'm not letting you have any. He only detracts from the world. He does not add anything. His philosophy is bankrupt, ridiculous. Completely without merit and has been oh, oh, whatever. I'm rubber and you're a big, fat bucket of sticky glue. 320, whatever, three pounds of glue. I mean, what, what, what the fuck are you, can't you make an argument? Like a quote and then an argument, a counter argument to some premise of yours. Smashed to pieces so many times by far more intelligent people than myself. Well, it has to be more intelligent than yourself. That fucking gopher in the other video is more intelligent than you are. As to make it a useless argument. And indeed, if people truly listen to the words of such individuals that I have seen over and over argue these things... Oh, these things, like, what things do they argue over and over, these things, like, just the slanderous things, you mean? Oh, you mean the lies and the straw men? Oh, yeah, that's right. Gray Tex, Piero, Frank Way 87. Yeah, we just saw Piero. We just saw Piero completely fuck the argument. Tranquil is completely irrelevant. I mean, he doesn't acknowledge, um, I mean, he's, he, you know, it's it's almost impossible to even figure out what the fuck he is because he says he's not religious but he's quite obviously in love with nature and thinks you can't touch it you can't you can't defile it you can't reject it 
Well, anyway, I won't get into that. But I mean, at least you can argue with the va- basic premise of his argument, which is somehow nature's on a some sort of glory stick, and we all have to fucking bow to it. <clears throat> all of these individuals have argued well and thoroughly against this entire idea of alcoholism. Well, and they've done it poorly because you really can't argue against it. DNA molecule, replication, no fucking agenda beyond creating some sort of victorious gladiator king, okay, that can accomplish nothing except say, I'm king. It's a fucking kid's game. It's king of the mountain. There's nothing here but an ego trip. Nothing else. One little ego monster gets to get to the top of the hill and say, I kick ass, you suck. That's all that happens here. You want to sit there and put that in the fucking goddamn science museum is a brilliant idea. I want to sit there and throw that idea in the toilet. That's a pile of shit. That's stupid, fuckwit. So until you figure out something else to do with this fucking human condition, you got no argument, jackass. It is a broken bankrupt idea conceived by a psychopath who is obsessed with destroying the lives of the people around him. Well, this is just idiotic, all right? I, I am, I'm honest enough to answer direct questions about endgame strategies, and so then you can play this murder, horrible game, right? But if I did the same things to you people, and I said, okay, what if there was a, a triple AIDS or quadruple AIDS or 100 times AIDS virus out there, and it killed people... You know, they got infected within 20, 15, 15 minutes they were infected. You know, 15 minutes of 40-foot exposure, and you were infected. Um, or some kind of whatever the scenario would be. And let's say the societies had lost uh, billions of people to it. So half the people had died of it, and they died horribly. And, and so through our technology and trillions of dollars of investment, we had knocked the fucking disease down to just a million people left. And those million decided they were going to infect the rest. You wouldn't stop them hard, you know, because they had some religious notion in their head that the, the fucking virus spelled backwards spelled out Jesus' middle name, which nobody knew. I don't know. Um, anyway, you get it? Fuck wit? No, you wouldn't get it, because that would require an honest argument. So, yeah, just admit there's plenty of circumstances where you would play, I know what's best, I'm going to have to kill that fucker. Right? Nazi Germany. If I brought that back, you wouldn't say, shoot the fuckers? No, you'd say what? Oh, you can't kill people. That's against the law. Is that what you'd say, fucker? He has no consideration for anyone but himself. And now he may have caused the loss of someone else's life. Again, I caused. He caused it. So anybody who makes people think has caused them something to happen to them. I mean, I, I, like I said, I'll take some of that. I, I will. I, I don't mind taking some of that. But, you know, because I'm part of the mechanism through which ideas move through people. But, you know, it's, it's almost like saying that, you know, somebody caused somebody to go to war by explaining to them that Nazis really suck and we have to kill them. I, I mean, it's really, it's because they make a persuasive argument, is it their fault? I mean, really, don't, doesn't doesn't the whole idea of, of much of our social policy revolve around this idea that speaking is okay, what you hear is up to you? You have to take responsibility for the hearing part. It's not the speaker's obligation to hear for you. I hope that is not the case. But if it is the case, if indeed things that Gary has done have driven... Into- yeah, like what? Things like Gary has done, like what? Like opine on how we have an obligation to stay here and try to annoy all you big fat asses and try to drive you into the sea? Well, yeah, okay. Um, but that kind of obviously wasn't what was motivating her that yesterday. Um, there's nothing in my philosophy that would have said that this was an appropriate reaction. And, and you're not, like I said, we know what, what it is. It's quite apparent what it, it is. Just as I stated and just how it's been demonstrated, she's having a bad time in her life. It has nothing to do with me. And look what you're doing. You're exploiting it, you stupid pig. 
period and to suicide, then you will know this, Gary, and I am talking to you right now. You used to Well, look, she's admitted that she attempted suicide, so I guess you might as well go ahead, okay? I mean, in my, in my opinion, okay, attempted murder is the same thing as murder, all right? So, you know, we've got to accept that if I've caused her anything, if I caused her to do what she did, the fact that she failed doesn't have anything to do with it, right? So you can go ahead and convict me and, and call me guilty of whatever my role is, all right? So now prove my role, fatty. This miserable piece of shit. And you better goddamn well take me seriously, because... <laughs> yeah, what was it? <laughs> well, you, 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 you know, I'll take you seriously as a funny pill. That's about it. What, seriously as what? What? A big fat guy in an orange shirt. Okay, you're seriously a fat guy in an orange shirt. This is the case. I will spend the rest of my living days making sure that you... No, go ahead. Do it, okay? Like I said, I'm already guilty. I'm guilty. I'm guilty, okay? She, she intent, the intent was there, so all you need to prove the crime is there. So go ahead. Spend the rest of your life trying to make a fucking rational argument, fatty. Try doing that. But I think the only thing you're going to be able to resort to is a crank call, right? Suffer and that you fall. I am not even joking with you, you <laughs> stupid, <laughs> miserable piece of shit. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, <laughs> something wasn't a joke. Damn it, it was funny. Oh, thanks. It really was good. Uh, oh, it really was a funny joke. You did really well. It's like the non-joke joke. It was pretty good. Useless, psychopathic, dogmatic, religious fanatic. Dogmatic. Where, where, where? Again, you keep, you, you, you just don't come up with the answer to any question, right? I mean, you don't even understand what the word dogma means, do you? No. Attic. That is you. <laughs> if she has been harmed by what you have done, I will contact you. Yeah, I ignored her. Damn you. Damn you, you dirty ape. Act the state's attorney of New Jersey <gasps> and ask them... <laughs> oh, my God. Not that. He's probably a big fat guy in an orange shirt, too. ...to proceed with criminal proceedings. Uh-oh. With the new cyberbullying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, because... It's you definitely could prove intent, right? Because I ignored her for two months. I must have intended that she kill herself. And let's see, what else would you have to prove? Some sort of negligence thing. Like I somehow, she had sent me some sort of notice that she was going all wacky. Well, no, you're not going to be able to do that. And then you'd have to prove that somehow my philosophy is engineered for the purpose of um, making crazy people go wah, wah. Sorry, you can't do any of that stupid fuck, so you're going to lose, and then I'm, you know, you're just going to, I'll just sue you for false prosecution, fatty, because I think I can prove that you're a malicious person, that the only thing running around in your little gear work is, Gary is thinner than me and has a bigger wiener than me, and Gary's smarter than me, and Gary smells better than me, and so I have to knock Gary down, and I'm going to put on my orange super shirt to do it. I mean, fuck you, you petty weasel. I'm not going to have any problem proving you to be a fuckwit. All right, let's, let's hook you up to a polygraph and see how far you get. See how long it takes for all those folds of fat to start dripping sweat. And I will find some way, through the ACLU, through someone. <laughs> yeah, the ACLU is a big fighter of the free speech. It just keeps, we got to stop that guy from talking. Yeah, I can't have Gary on a line, but yeah, let's have the clan and...